My name is Vanessa. I'm part of the reporting team. Tomorrow we'll cover a loss from the report. For today's demonstration, we will quickly create a loss from the report going back the last three fiscal years of data. We'll begin with the member reports tab. Then select the filter arrow dropdown. This dropdown will allow you to determine which metric matters are available. We'll start with coverage. We will not filter for coverage for this report since we want to include all coverages. Although you do have the option to filter. For example, coverage is equal to workers' compensation pool, general liability, and auto liability. This filter will allow you to filter all your coverages to include claims only pertaining to workers' compensation, general liability, and auto liability. Or you have the option to is not equal to. So it'll exclude any claims pertaining to this, these types of coverages. But for now, we'll go ahead and remove these since we're planning on not filtering by coverage. Our next step is to filter by loss date. We'll begin with is in range, 2016, October 1st until current date. For transaction, we're going to keep it to 2010-01 until current date. We are using a bigger time frame to capture all transactions pertaining to claims that fall within the loss date, which is why transaction date has a bigger time frame. This demo won't specify filters for claims department, claims department detail, injury type, or body part filter. For injury type and body part, these filters are specific to workers' compensation claims only. Additionally, for a site division and site division code description will remain blank for this demo, but these two fields are only available to members who already provide this information to us. However, for future reports, you can specify any of these metrics if you already have any specific parameters in mind. Once we have put all our filters in place, we're gonna go ahead and run the report. Once the report has run, we can collapse our filters and select any of these links. We'll take you to the drill through. Selecting any of these links won't only give you a specific financial, it'll display all of them. So here we'll go ahead and scroll all the way down and we'll see all the financials are included. So we're going to go ahead and download the report, save as an Excel spreadsheet, all results, we're going to go ahead and rename the file, download, and that's all. I hope this tutorial will be helpful in all your reporting needs. Thank you. This concludes our video show today. Thank you for watching.